Okay. Hello guys. And we have to proceed with functions. No? And this time, we will be talking on function value. Okay, so how to evaluate the value of the function. Now, function value is denoted with f of a. Okay, now this is its definition. So, function is usually given explicitly in a notation y equal to f of x. So, if a is a number, then f of a is the value of the function at x equal to a. The function value f of a is obtained by direct substitution if your x is equal to a to the function f of x. Okay? Now, if your x value is a real number, then the function value is also a real number. However, function value may not always be constant because the independent variable can also be another function as it is performed under the composite function operation, which means that the independent variable can also be replaced with another function. Now, here is an example in the evaluation of function value. So, we are given a function and then we are asked to determine the function values with the different values of x. Now, you notice that at a, b, c, the value of x are all constant values. While in d and a, so it is also replaced with another function. And in the last, it is a difference of two function value over a certain expression x. Okay? So let's try working with a. Now you substitute 0 to the function and come up with the value of the expression. And that is the function value. So when x is 0, this is the value of your x. So substitute to the function. Okay, so we have 3 times 0 minus 0 squared. So the value is equal to 0. Actually, this is the value of y and this is the value of x. So if you have to pair them, then we have a point with the coordinates of 0, 0. Actually, that's the origin that is defined in A. No? Okay, so letter B. The value of x is equal to minus 3. You substitute again the minus 3 to your variable x. My first term is minus 9. My second term is a negative of minus 3 squared. So it's minus 9 subtracted with 9 also. So their sum is equal to. So it is the sum of two numbers having like sign, which are all negative. So the sum is also a negative eaten. Now in letter C, so the only difference of that is that ang ato ang sign, independent variable value is a fraction. Okay, so let's try working with fraction. So what is the value of the function when x is equal to 2 fifth? Replacing x with 2 fifth. Okay, so I have the value of the term 3 times 2 pips. So we have 6 over 5 minus 4 over 25. Now when you subtract fractions, what is important there is that the denominator must be the same. So you have to provide the least common denominator when the denominators are not the same. So you will be looking for an equivalent fraction. So between 5 and 25, the least common denominator is equal to 25. So taking... The least common denominator of 25, 25 divided by 5 is 5. You multiply to the numerator, so that is 6 times 5. Okay, so it's 30 over 25 because 30 over 25 can be reduced to 6 over 5. So we are just for, uh, changing the form of the fraction so that the denominators will be the same. So 30 over 25 minus 4 over 25. So 30 minus 4 is... Okay, so there you have the value of the function. Okay, but you may also choose to simplify... Now, the operation by doing this, okay? So, you have two fractions, 6 over 5, 4 over 25. Now, if the LCD is 25, so no problem with the last fraction because this is already 25. So, how to make this 25? If this is originally 5, so that 5 can be multiplied with 5. Now, you are manipulating a fraction. So, if you multiply one side of the ratio by an expression, to maintain the value of the fraction, so do the same on the other side of the ratio. So multiplying this with 5, do also with the numerator, you multiply also by 5. Because 5 over 5 is equal to 1. So you are not actually changing the value of the fraction, but you are just changing its form so that the denominators will be the same. 30 minus 4 is also 26 over the same denominator of 25. So you may just to have your approach be like that, or maybe that one, huh? But in dealing with constant, no, the other option is to use directly your calculator. No, but it's not good to use calculator all the time if we do not know the basic in the operation of numbers. Okay? Now, 
in liter D. If of y plus 1. And my x is now y plus 1. So, I'm changing my x to y plus 1. So, 3 times y plus 1 minus the quantity y plus 1 square. Okay? So, distribute your 3 and expanding your second term. Okay? So, there I have 3y plus 3 and minus. So, the expanded form under a binomial square is a perfect square trinomial where we have the y squared plus 2y is actually the product between them, no? And you multiply this, the, uh, the product by 2. So, twice the product is your middle term. And the last term is the square of the last term. 1 squared is 1. Okay? So, simplifying by combining terms similar. And this is preceded with a negative sign. So, I can collect the terms within the grouping symbol. But I have to change the sign to their opposite. Why? If I'm going to, if in the first term, I am distributing a constant 3. In the second term, actually, I am distributing a factor of negative 1, wherein the effect of which is only the sign of the terms within the grouping. So, if you have to remove if an expression preceded with a negative in a grouping symbol, then you have to remove the grouping symbol, but you have to collect the terms at their opposite sign. Now, starting with the highest degree term, I can start with a negative y squared, but the other option is to start with a positive term, in maybe ascending manner. Okay, so I have to start with the constant. The sum of 3 and minus 1 is equal to 2. And your y term is equal to 3 minus 2 is also y. And I can collect the y squared. And the function value can be 2 plus y minus the y squared. For the last, okay. Now this is a ratio where we have a function value for a term or the first term. So you may choose to solve this first. Okay, and after you arrive at the value of the first term, then you try to combine them all. Okay, so what is the value of the if of x plus h? Okay, if evaluated separately, I have 3 times a quantity x plus h minus x plus h squared. Okay, distribute, almost the same as what we did kanina. And again, I have a binomial square whose expanded forms like this. Okay. So, 3x plus 3h minus x squared minus 2xh plus the h squared. Okay, you may combine them or maybe I can go directly to the ratio collecting terms from the first term. Okay, so the ratio can be, okay, the terms coming from the f of x plus h are 3x plus h removing the parentheses. So, I have to change the sign to the opposite of the terms, no? And I have the last term which is the minus or a negative of the function or the terms coming from the function. So, I put them into group. Okay? Now, notice that the terms coming from the function can all be removed. 3x with a negative 3x and minus x squared with a positive. That's positive, right? Okay. So, if that's positive, so I can also eliminate my x squared. So, the expression left is 3x minus 2xx and minus x squared. If that's divided with x, okay, so every term can be divided by x or I may remove x from the numerator by factoring, okay, and then I can reduce by dividing with x. So what is left is the other factor which is 3 minus 2x minus x as the value of that ratio, okay? So in number 2, so, we are dealing with function involving two independent variables, m and n. Okay, m squared minus 4m squared. And in A, you are required to get the function value when your m has a value of 1 half and your n has a value of 1 fifth. And in liter B, when it is replaced with another function for m and n. Okay, let's start with A. Now, if our function is this, okay, I'm copying the function and I'll be replacing my m and n with what is indicated in A. So it's 1 half squared for your m. Okay, and we have 4 times an n. Okay, and that is 1 fifth square. So 1 fourth for the value of my first term. And this is 4 times the square of 1 fifth, which is 1 over 25. Okay, so again, you are subtracting fractions. And my fraction is 1 fourth minus 4 over 25. Correct? So again, I have to take the LCD. 4 and 25, my LCD is equal to 100. So it is the less number 
wherein this two exist as a factor or which can be divided exactly by these two denominators. Okay, 100 divided by 4 is 25 times the numerator. 25 over 100 is your original fractional term, the first term, na? And 4 over 25 is 1 fourth. Okay, 4 over 25, okay, because 16 over 100 is actually 4 over 25. Now, combining the numerator, okay, 25 minus 16, what's the sum? That is equal to 9 and take the same denominator of 100. So, the value of the function f when m is equal to 1 half and n is equal to 1 fifth is 9 over 100. Now, letter b, you cannot arrive with a function value which is a constant because the value of your independent variable is also a function. So, just substitute when m is equal to x plus 2y. And that is in square, so that is x plus 2y square. Minus 4, and that is your n. Then that is in square. Now, again, you can expand the binomial. Binomial square, square of the first term, twice the product of the terms involved in the binomial. So, 2xy times 2 is 4xy, the square of the last term. Minus 4, and I have to expand. So, the only difference, this is plus, and between it is minus. So, if that is plus, Middle term is plus. If that's minus, middle term is also negative. Square of that is 9x squared. Product is 3xy. You double the product and that is minus 6xy. Last term is the y squared. Now, before you combine the terms, no? this is preceded with plus so I can collect the terms as they are. This is preceded with the factor so I can distribute and apply the distributive property of numbers. Okay, so I have minus 36 plus 24xy. Okay, the following and this is minus 4y squared. Starting with the x squared. My x squared is, I have two terms in x squared. So that's minus 35x squared. The xy term, 28xy, y squared can be eliminated because they are opposite to each other. So their sum must be 0. So that's the value of the function. Actually, I want you to recall now because it might be that you are confused in the binomial expansion. So there is a special product formula to that effect. No? Okay. So, if you have a binomial square, whether it's separated with plus or minus sign, your first term is this one, a squared. The second term is their product, a, b, but you have to double. The last term is the b squared. And if it is minus, I call the same expression, but only the middle term is taken as negative. Okay, so binomial square will produce a perfect square trinomial. So, binomial square will produce a pst. Pst means perfect square trinomial. Okay, so this is the perfect square trinomial. This is the binomial square. Actually, we are done, but I have to give you a little bonus. Okay, now, it is easier to work with the function value, especially when the value of your uh, independent variable is only constant and there is only one independent variable. No? Now, if you try to take a look with the problem in number one, we have E, B, C where it behaves as what I mentioned. The value of the independent variable are all constant and this function is actually involving a single independent variable x. Okay, So we can solve that by using a calculator no? just to find the value. Okay, So this is easier. Okay, Now, how to evaluate using our calculator? Not all calculators can be used. So, you can have this only when your calculator is equipped with a function calculate. Okay? Now, steps. You have to check your calculator is this function exists. And if you notice that this function is in your calculator, then you can proceed as follows. Okay? Put your calculator on and enter the terms of your function, the 3x minus x squared. How to input? Okay? 3 then 4x, alpha x, then minus, then again alpha x, then square. Then, with this, function can be found in the display. Okay, once the analysis a display, you can now make use of the function calculate. Calculate, and for a, we know that the value of x is 0. So, assign the value 0 to your x. You press a, I uh, press equals, then 0 will appear. So, 0 is actually the function value. So, the f of 0 is equal to 0. Now, the good thing here is that the function will still be present in the system. No? So, naasya makita ni mo in the display. So, 
Again, you can just press calculate without re-entering the terms of your function. So, imula ilisan ang atong values at atong x. So, calculate, then you assign minus 3, then press equals, then again, you will be given the value. So, that's the answer. And in number 4, so the value is equal to 2 for x. So, you follow the same process and then you can arrive with the answer. So, as simple as that, no? so your problem can be solved. Okay? So, thank you for watching and I hope you gain something out from me. No? So, till, until the next video and thank you again. So, have a good day. No? So, just in case you have a good heart uh, and you feel like subscribing, so try to subscribe to inspire me naman po nga magsigitag upload og video. No? Okay, so thank you. Thank you, thank you.